Marty He's fine. Uh, wish he would have had more days of practice, but physically he's fine. Will he start? Also? I don't know if he'll start. No. Will Melvin get more? more, more Melvin's had a good full week of practice. He should be ready to roll. He's it's been quite an eventful week. I'll tell you why, but how is the team coping with that? I mean, is it distraction? Are you guys going to get ready for Saturday? Well, I think it's always hard when you lose a teammate. And, uh, you know, these guys have a lot of feelings for, for uh, Stephen, and it's you know, something you wish wouldn't happen. But I, I think they've moved on. You know, they're trying to focus on what's at hand and, and uh, go ahead and get ready for Saturday. It's, it's not much to, that it's going to affect, you know, as far as, it doesn't matter how you feel about it, it's not going to change it. So they're, they're disappointed about it, but I think they've moved on. Ellis, how have y'all uh, tried to mimic their uh, potential two-quarterback system uh, in practice this week? Nothing. They, they're they going to throw more if 17's in there, and they're going to run more with the quarterback if 14's in there. And, uh, you know, Dylan Favre's a good, capable quarterback. We'll see. We may see some wildcat stuff. Uh, all you can do is just keep practicing what they run on film. And we know the routes they ran. They've run them also with Ralph. Uh, we know what they've done with protections, but you, know, you just have to have a little different mindset when you're on the field. We can't change all the calls. and We can tilt it a little bit in one way or the other, but the game plan is what it is. Is there any advantage to having you know, dealt with Dan Mullen before when he was coach at Florida is, and facing his system? Is there any kind of advantage to that now that he's at Mississippi State? Or? Well, you know, we've seen it now for about seven or eight years, and uh, having coached against him when I was at Mississippi State, you know, I've seen it now for about eight years. And uh, he, he does a great job of tweaking the offense to fit the personnel. And when he first got to uh, Florida, they had Chris Leak, and it looked a lot like Tyler Russell. When they got Tebow, it, the whole thing changed, and it become more like Chris Ralph. So that offense has a lot of versatility in it, and he can tweak it and, and turn it into a quarterback running offense, or he can turn it into a drop back passing offense. Uh, doesn't hurt that we've seen it before, but it doesn't really make any difference as far as us playing well. It's, it's preparation and players getting the job done on the field. And I think we've had a good week of practice, so we'll just have to see how they line up and play. Have you made a decision on Akeem yet? And that was a weekly question. Is he going to get back this year or is he done? I think I think we pretty well have reached a breaking point on it. And uh, open date has always been the, the target date. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if we had an emergency need and it was really bad, but so far, knock on wood, we've gotten some players back in the lineup and we've got a little bit of depth in the secondary now. So it's something we don't have to push for as hard. With, with Jared Omo moving over to the other side, does, what does that do to your tackle rotation? Does that mean more snaps for Quarles or somebody else? Well, Kelsey's been playing a pretty good bit. Uh, it will mean some more snaps for Kelsey uh, and or uh, uh, Aldrich. You know, they've been rotating in there a little bit. Uh, it may mean that we've got to push some guys a little bit more into the rotation. Uh, Jared had done a good job when he was in there. Uh, had not been playing a huge number of snaps. And I hope he can help us on offense. And, uh, get some reps over there because uh, he was giving us a few quality reps. I don't think it's a problem for us unless we have somebody go down. Do you want him back next year? Well, we'd love to have him. I think he made a lot of progress over the uh, time he's been here uh, physically and uh, fundamentally. And we was just getting to the point, I think, where he understood our scheme and his techniques. But uh, we've we got to put him where it's best for the football team. And uh, if, he's, if he becomes a starter over there, he needs to stay over there. If he doesn't, then you know that's Coach Spurs' decision. But right now, it's something that we needed to do for this football team. Has Devin been a little quiet this year? Not really. I think, you know, all the hype coming in the door for Clowney, and then Melvin's had all these big plays and uh, fake punts and picking up balls laying on the ground and those kind of things. So I think there's been a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of pub and stuff being sent other ways. But Devin's been playing real good football, and I, I just think sometimes all the hype stuff that people notice, that the big plays and the flashy plays, he hadn't been involved in as many as, as the other guys have. Talk about playing on the road, uh, probably the first big road game since since Georgia, and obviously this is the first road game since Georgia, but uh, and, and going on the road to a place like Starkville and, and how you deal with that from a defensive standpoint. Well, I told Coach Spur the other day it's a nice place to live but a bad place to visit. It's just the opposite of San Francisco, <laughs> but uh, I hope none of you from San Francisco. But uh, it, it's going to be tough because a lot of things, and you know, we're going to play at early playing time and central time zone, a little different clock. We're going to play on the road for the first time in five weeks. We're going to play a good football team. Uh, they, they play well. They play hard. They take a lot of pride in playing at home at Davis Wade. So there's going to be a lot of reasons that it's going to be a tough thing. But, I mean, decent football teams with good leadership, they overcome those things. And so if we don't and we go down and we don't play well, then it's a sign of what, you know, 
what this program is. If we go down there and take care of business, and it means that we're learning how to deal with those things and overcome them.